could go have a bite tea, and you'd still be here on that one. <laughs> Amanda's looking at everybody, Joel and Amanda right now. <laughs> Having a little fun. We want to show you something different about these Teton guitars than the other main manufacturers you've more likely heard of. And why? There's no question, it's a better built guitar. If you like the sound of one that we play, difference, that's art. That's not what we're talking about, that's opinion. This one, we're going to show you a fact. We're going to have Amanda come around, and we've got a snark tune around here, and when it goes to green, that means you're in tune, right? And actually, it's a little bit, tiny bit flat, so I'm just going to give it a little turn, and then we're going to move it forward. See how it's still on E when I tilt the guitar forward? And when I go back, it's still on E, okay? Now we're going to take another guitar that you've probably heard of. This is a this guitar was about $5,000 from the Taylor Company. And by the way, that's a $250 guitar at the time of the shooting of this video. And we're going to do a Taylor guitar. And again, we're going to tune it to E. And now we're going to turn the guitar a little bit and look what happens. It, and I'm not even turned flat to the ground. And it's a couple of cents flat. That's because this guitar, although you can't see it, there's a bolt on the inside. So, you lose sound with the bolt. And that's why this E isn't as loud as that E, and that's not arguable. That can be measured on a dB meter. Now I'm going to show you one more. This is a very expensive new Gibson. It has a very unique Gibson-y kind of sound. I'm not saying it's bad, but we're going to show you what a neck does. So we're going to play an E. We're going to tune it. And there's your E again. It's pretty close. It's bopping around because that's part of the tail, the problem with these guitars. And when you tilt it, it's way flat. See that? It's holding very flat, almost two cents flat. So if I come up, see what happens as it starts to come up? It comes back into tune. Okay, that's the Gibson J15. And last but not least, we're going to do a Seagull, part of the Godin Company. This is a very expensive all solid wood guitar. We're showing you thousand dollar guitars here, not cheap guitars. Now we're taking this E, and I just tuned this, so I'm not wasting your time. The guitar is wasting my time. It went out of tune. And so there's E again. Then we're going to flip this forward, and if you can see that, Amanda, it is clearly out of tune. As we come back, it's actually sharp now. So, also, these guitars are not going to have the tonality of a Teton. And again, I'm not showing you these ones up here. These are the more expensive, even higher end Tetons. I'm showing you their least expensive guitar. And again, that guitar is not arguably on a dB meter. It is louder than these other guitars that are all at least $1,000 more money. It's because this is a dovetail. And that last guitar I played and that first guitar I played, those are bolt on necks. They're not good neck connections. This is a dovetail, how guitars were designed to be built for 100 years. All the Tetons have it, and at Rocktown Music, we have quality gear at used prices.